Now the next and final section uh, depicts more sort of what we would call fairy tales. These are fairy tales that many of us have probably heard before or have heard versions of because so many fairy tales in Europe uh, were passed along orally from person to person, community to community. So they would get passed along through oral tradition and wherever the tale was told, it would take on a local flavor. Uh, so for instance, the tale of Puss in Boots is one that you see in many cultures all over Europe. And um, Puss is a tale um, about a, a cat, a clever cat who helps his owner, a poor man, to gain riches and influence. And so uh, the owner, the poor man, um, makes use of this clever cat in order to get ahead in the world. This is a tale, as I said, that's told all over uh, Europe. And in fact, as we, as many of us know, was turned into a major studio animated film as well. So it's a, it's a tale that many of us are, are familiar with. Um, another tale that is common in Russian folklore is this one, the fox, the hare, and the rooster. And it's an interesting convoluted tale that um, doesn't maybe make a whole lot of sense at first listen because it's about uh, a house that the fox takes possession of Hare's wooden house after his own house melts uh, in the winter or in the spring because it was made of ice. And then Hare, uh, who's been evicted from his house, gets help from a whole series of animal friends, including two dogs, a bear, and an ox, but they can't get fox out. But finally, Rooster, who is carrying a, a deadly sharp scythe or a grass cutter, um, as you can see here, he comes along and is able to scare the fox away. So it's a, it's a tale that goes on and on, and much like traditional fairy tales. It contains you know, several different um, trials and tribulations that the hero has to go through until finally either he succeeds or with help in this case, with the help of the rooster, he succeeds um, in getting his home back. 